Back to the ice. Uh, back to the ice is when you meet some new people and it's a little awkward. The atmosphere is cold, like ice. So to break the ice, you have to do something or say something that will make the atmosphere warm. What do you do in order to break the ice? When your students come in for the first time, they meet you for the first time, mm -hmm. they don't know their classmates, what do you do? Make small talk with them. Do you want to talk about like small talk just briefly? Small talk? Small talk? All right. Well, small talk is unimportant talk, just talking about anything that you can think of. Uh, usual small talk topics include the weather, your clothes, uh, phone, some nosy questions like, where are you from? The easiest way to break the ice with new students is to ask them about their phone. You look at their phone and you go, oh, what kind of phone you got there? And they're like, oh, it's a Galaxy S10 or whatever. And then you say, oh, what do you think of it? Give me your, give me your review. Where'd you get it? How much did you pay for it? What are, the, uh, what are the functions? Why did you buy it? And I don't know, every Korean loves talking about their phone. So that's the best way to make a warm atmosphere to break the ice with new students. Okay, that was your icebreaker. That was my icebreaker. Okay, can you explain icebreaker? Icebreaker is a game or a kind of structured conversation that we use to forcefully break the ice, um, especially in a class, a big class. Even in graduate school, I did that. Like on the first day of class, there's 30 students, and then the teacher's like, all right, we're going to do an icebreaker. And then everybody going, oh my god, we're not children, we're adults, why do we have to do a friggin' icebreaker? But actually, it's really useful to foster conversation and make the atmosphere a little warmer. All right. Any final words to our viewers, please? Any final words? If you feel awkward talking to us, feel free to break the ice by uh, just making small talk. English. Break the ice. 여러분들, break the ice. Break the ice는 사실 보면요. 아이스라는 거 보세요. 아이스를 생각해 보세요. 아, 아이스. 우. 어이구. 그럼 그걸 break 해요. 여러분들 그첫 클래스를 보세요. 첫 클래스 보면요. 서로 모르는 사람들이 모여 있잖아요. 그렇죠? 그러니까 되게 awkward 하잖아요. 어, 어떻게 제 누구야? 그렇죠? 그때 선생님이 딱 들어와서 "Do you want to play some game to break the ice?" 하면요. 그 서먹서먹한 분위기를 깨기 위해서 하는 게임을 말하는 거죠. 이와 같은 걸 우리가 아이스 브레이크라고 하는데요. 여하튼 break the ice라는 것은 이렇게 서먹서먹한 그 약간 좀 이런 분위기를요. 깨달아낸 표현이 되겠습니다. 여러분들 사실 한국 사람들이요. break the ice를 잘 못하는 것 같아요. 그렇죠? 반면에 그 미국이나 캐나다에서 온 친구들 같은 경우는요. 사람들한테 말도 잘 걸고 하거든요. 여러분들 영어 공부할 때 제가 항상 말씀드리는 게 있어요. 그렇죠? 스피킹할 때 말씀드리고 싶은 거는 너무나 두려워하지 마세요. 가서 말 거세요. 그리고 break the ice 하세요. 할수 있어요. 여러분들. 알겠죠? 여러분들 나중에 저희하고 이제 볼 기회가 있으면요. 편안하게 와서 말 걸어주세요. 어? 그냥 어프로치해서 break the ice 하세요. 아시겠죠? Okay, I gotta break the ice here. Okay, I gotta break the ice here. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be a great icebreaker. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be a great icebreaker. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be a great icebreaker. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be a great icebreaker. I have a great idea. You know what you should do? Be hilarious. Wear your wedding dress. It would be a great icebreaker. 자, 여하튼 오늘 표현 Break the Ice라는 걸 살펴봤고요. 우리 그럼 또 다음 시간에 뵙도록 하겠습니다. See you guys next time. Take care. Bye bye.